podcast like this. Who gonna bring it to the table? Boss time. Check it, check it, check it. This is Unique Host. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Mr. Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing, my day of all going. I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. And I mean all, I mean all, including YouTube. And that's where you can see all our visuals. And that's where you can hit the subscription button and the notification so you don't miss out on any of this fly content we're giving out every single day. But if you want to be a member, that's how you can get all the exclusive content under each and every video, including this one right here in the description section below. There's a link that says join our membership. Click that link. You'll get everything that no one else can see. Thank you in advance, and we love you. Hey, man, listen, man. We got a young lady here today. We out here in Las Vegas, Nevada, man, doing a hell of a photo shoot, man. It's been a crazy day, man, from the pool to everything else that we've done. You guys will get to see it, but we want to introduce you to one of the dopest models that we've met out here in Las Vegas. Yes. Jessica, what's hey. going on, man? Hello, hello. It's nice to be here. Man, so when you think about just modeling, man, um, and being in Vegas, man, I, I just had to stop and ask you, man, like, how's the opportunities, and how just how do we get into it right mm -hmm. um, I would definitely say you know being a Las Vegas logo being from here um, our fashion industry is growing uh, we're getting a lot more productions from other places um, we're being put on the map you know we have the movie studio that's coming next year uh, Warner Brothers so uh, I, I think it's unbecoming um, it's really unique in that anyone can come out here and build their platform um, I think that's a special thing about Vegas is that you you kind of make your way you know you really don't have to um, come out here with a lot of notoriety you know you have a vision you have a plan you come out here you meet good people and you go to work wow well, how is the competition out here though what makes you stand out from everybody else why everybody else needs to contact you I mean period I'm me though but no <laughs> um, it, you know it is very competitive and I would say it's competitive because um, there aren't a ton of opportunities um, I would say you know um, that in that way you do need to network but uh as far as i am concerned catch me on my socials on instagram i am gorgeous xoxox <laughs> um I've, I've been in the industry for a long time i really started out as a makeup artist oh, wow. um, esthetician so i did skincare i was behind the scenes and um i naturally just have a love of fashion a love of creativity right um i really love connecting with designers and bringing to life their vision uh there's nothing like that expressive art form in movement right so it's a it's comparative to dance for me really mm -hmm. in a lot of ways so even um you know being professional working on my looks staying in the gym eating healthy uh, making some, sure my my skin is popping you know make sure that i have a really nice um canvas right to really bring all of that artwork to life uh and, and I love working with up and coming designers as well, right? So uh, we're all networking together, giving each other a platform um, and really showing things that are really eclectic and different and outside the box. And that's wow. where it's at. And is there any kind of modeling that you don't do? Because you do, do you do runway? Absolutely. Photography? Yes. yes. Every uh, kind? Is there anything you don't do? Um, I mean... Honestly, probably just I don't do nude, you right. know, I don't do implied, uh, but but pretty much every other art form. Um, definitely want to get more into sports, swim, uh, runway, um, uh, catalog. Print. Who motivated you to get into this? I did, you know, uh, really? this, for me, this is um, how old were you? Oh, goodness. I, I think uh, when I first started thinking about modeling was I played college basketball. So, mm -hmm. you know, I'm tall, I'm athletic, and uh, I played a lot of sports. But that was kind of like my expression of my tomboy side. Right. But I always, you know, I, was, I always was a girly girl, mm -hmm. and I always wanted to express that. Um, and uh, I have my own journey, mm -hmm. right? I have my own health journey. I have my own um, mental health, physical health, emotional health, and... This is my promise to myself. You know, this is my, I'm going to live the loudest I can live. I'm going to live the, the most unapologetic life and, and anything that I want, you know, I'm going to go for it. So there's just something about uh, being on that stage, being on that platform, being given the, the eyes of the mm -hmm. crowd. Um, and, and really, it's about making connections. Uh, I can't tell you how many shows I've done, and I'll have... Uh, women of all ages, men of all ages, um, children come and, you know, I think that uh, representation is so vital and so important. And that was something I didn't have as a child. I didn't see, you know, uh, women that look like me 
on the stage and on runway. So that's another reason I do it. It's very important for us to see that and for us to encourage that next that next generation coming you up. You know, when I first seen you, I knew it was something different about you. I met you when I was here six months ago. Yes. And I told you, you know, I linked up with you, and you never know who you're going to meet. You never. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when I linked up with you, I was really impressed with just your professionalism and the way that you carried yourself. And I was like, man, Thank I got to work with this young lady. And as soon as she, we called and linked with each other, she, you reached out, and I was like, hey, you know, uh, I started really going in on about what we doing here, what we doing, yes. how we doing. You know, I'm always hustled, so yes. I'm trying to figure out what you got You're going. You're a visionary. So I'm You're trying to make sure, sure we're getting the best out of you for this six months that we're talking because I want to add value to your brand. Yes. And I think that's the most important thing. And I want to thank you for being one of the first Boss Talk 101 honeys. Hey, you know what I'm we saying? Just, we just came up with that today. <laughs> we I'm coined sure that know phrase, that. you know what I'm yes, saying? Yes, Boss Talk 101 we, we honeys today. is in the building. So, you know, uh, Jessica, thank you so much for supporting us, man. Yes. Me and my wife do this, you know, out of our own pockets and I got it out the mud. Yeah. And, and, you know, we just thank you for going on that journey with us. I'm, on the, I'm a part of the family. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I adopted myself in this family. <laughs> <laughs> they're not, they're not going to shake me. No. Uh, I'm always be here to support you guys. I'm, I'm Thank for you so much. this brand. I think it's very important. I, I love the message. I love the energy. Um, I'm a complete fan. <laughs> I'm on the, I'm like, Y'all don't know about Boss Talk Radio? I got to tell you about Boss Talk Radio. So, um, podca uh, podcast. And I got to ask you something that I consider very con controversial, especially in the modeling agency. Um, I see, okay. It has changed, mm -hmm. okay? Back in the days, um, models, especially running models, had to stay this skinny. Facts. And you're a little thick. Period. Okay? I, I was about to stand up. Period. But I'm okay, okay, a little bit <laughs> thick. But um, for models to stay that skinny, sometimes it tend, they tend to not have to eat. Correct. Or hardly eat, or some end up being anorexic, mm -hmm. or bulimic, or different you know, things mm -hmm. like that. And at one point, they never used to talk about it. Now they're coming out and talking about it a mm -hmm. lot more. Mm -hmm. um, how do you feel about that? Meaning like you might not be able to get a certain um, shoot or a runaway gig because of your size not being mm -hmm. as small, or Correct. maybe even being a woman of color. Oh, absolutely. That's all in the industry. Absolutely, absolutely. Especially, um, I can say that's definitely something that keeping it transparent in 100 that I do run into uh, here in Vegas. Like a lot of times um, they'll only take one dark skinned girl, you right. know, if, if they do allow two, uh, you know, women of color. And, you know, so uh, it's, it's something that still happens, but that's again why this is so important. Mm -hmm. um, this is why I like to work with uh, really inclusive brands that are coming up and brands that um, want uh, different Ethnicities genders, and, ethnicities, right. uh, you know, they want different looks. Uh, but what I can say is I, I did start out on that road um, of trying to get as skinny as I possibly could and trying to fit the mold of what right. I felt like the industry was. Number one, the industry is trendy and it's always mm -hmm. changing. Mm -hmm. So I might be chasing that goal. And as I'm chasing that goal it's and moving. I maybe and that goal is moving. Right. So I think the best thing um, is just to be you, you know, uh, bring out your inherent badassness, uh, bring, bring, <laughs> bring whatever you have to the table because it's more about confidence. I would say for sure runway and, and modeling is absolutely about confidence. It's ab absolutely about um, be having that X factor, mm -hmm. you know, and you just, you, you never know what someone's looking for. They have the times don't know what they're looking for, but you show up and you present and it's like, that's what I wanted. Mm -hmm. So, um, I have changed lanes and, mm -hmm. um, really kind of fallen in love with myself in that way. And, uh, now it's, it's not about fitting the mold. It's like, I'm going to create the mold. It's creating the mold and it's going to be, I'm the best version of myself and mm. I'm going to put myself out there and um, I'm still on a journey. You know, um, I'm always growing, you know, hopefully in six months, you know, when you see me again, I'll, I'll look a little different as well. So it's, it's always about a journey for me. It's always about learning and sharing my journey and, and helping others along on that same road. You know, if there's a struggle that I've had, um, once I start to talk about it, I'm going to help someone else and then vice versa. You know, that's something that someone else is struggling with something or I'm struggling with something. They're like, oh, I, I did that. I work with that designer and I have this knowledge. And um, so, you know, each one teach one and, and we all right. That's awesome. <laughs> I love I love that. That you stay true to yourself. Wow, Absolutely. man. Just want to tell you, thank you for coming on the show. Um, so. 
the one thing I can say is um, we're going to link up again. Mm -hmm. And um, just want to thank you. Get pictures from that mm -hmm. angle. And, um, man, make sure you keep watching and subscribing to Boss Talk 101. And make sure you know that you're one of the Boss Talk 101 honeys. So it's going down. You know what I'm saying? Y'all heard it. So if y'all don't see me on this platform <laughs> as a honey in these outfits, y'all ask about me. Make sure make sure you ask about me and be like, where is Jessica? Get her yeah, get her out here on this shoe. Okay. Man, TV. check it, man. Hey, see man, listen, man. Numbers. Stop it, man. Stop what you're doing, man. She back. Terry Cherry is in the building, Las Vegas. Stand up. She back in the house for the umpteen time. Uh, it's going down. How you like it this time? What's up? Y'all already know what it is. <laughs> it is hot in Vegas. One, but I love it. I'm having a great time. I ain't spent no money since I've been here. I just Ooh, love Vegas. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this, because this is the first time we did a shoot up here with you. And, yeah, you know, you are dead at it for sure. But how was it compared to just the other time? Because you've been up here numerous times with us. <sighs> Be truthful. Um, This time, I think it was, it was a nice time. I had a nice time. I, I miss, you know, the, you know, Everybody coming along uh, with the boys, but other than that, I loved it. Like, I still had a good time. I mean, I had a great time. I don't even know which time I, I love Vegas. I'm just going to say, <laughs> whatever happens in Vegas stays Vegas. Mm -hmm. Each time that I went to Vegas, I fell in love. So. Man, let me ask you But that. you see, but this, but this time we did, we did the fashion shoot. Mm -hmm. We did the models. Compared to all the other times, we mainly did the, the show and our interviews. What you thought about the, the fashion shoot that we did? Yeah. Man, the pool. What was got, up with I that pool? Good video. He gonna say, he gonna say, don't you be posting this. Yes, yeah, because you quick, it. you so quick it. to do it. I'm not gonna post, but oh my gosh, y'all, I can't. <laughs> yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk, we gonna have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit. Oh, uh, we we had fun, y'all. I just can't elaborate. You just gonna have to watch. You gonna have to tune in, cause baby, and keep watching my page. Follow me on Terry underscore MF underscore Cherry, cause baby, that's where. <sighs> Wait, see, he just, he leaked one video. I'm, I'm gonna do the rest. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I want to just say, like, what was was the pool the best part for you down there, or the was girls, it being the in the pool. cabana, or what was it? I love everybody. Their energy was good. You know, yeah, you, your energy gonna be good because I'm chick first. But you know, your energy good. I love it. Um, man, we man, y'all, we had a good. When I say we had a good time. We had a good time. You gon' do it how you want it. Boss talk. Yeah, everybody on it. Boss talk. It's a unique hustle. Boss talk. Do you know that you prob you don't realize this, but like with us, you've been like the most dedicated, loyal person to like always, no matter what, you go all the way out for, for boss talk. Y'all know what the fuck it is. We out here with Smoothie. Poppy. It's Lord and Judge. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to Ehe, the reason you see me. We doing numbers. Y'all looking pee wee. Y'all looking hungry. We looking greedy. Remember back then we were poor. And we we love you. Appreciate you for sure. Thank you. But like, what make you like it? Love it so much. It's a family. If you can understand family, you can understand anything. Especially when you build your own little family in a different, like something that you're good at, something that you love, like your hobby. I think that's what people is missing. They looking forward to their own family, but it's a it's another family that they have to outgrow outside of their own to understand what love really is. If you can love a friend and you can love your blood at the same time, and it's 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 different. It's a different motion, and it's like building a family. It's a family. I mean, one thing I always stick out to me about you is just the dedicated, you being a, a single mom, always taking care of your kids, always going all out, always hustling, no matter what, figuring out a way to, you know, make sure they straight, like, how do, how do you do it? Like, how, what, what, what do you get that, that deep down grit, gr you know, that grind just to make things happen, you know? Yeah, my Uncle Tracy wow. and my mama, my family, they, my grandma, all of them, everybody's a village. So I feel like, you know, 
once you forgive and love and you grow up, you can break your own chain by forgiveness. It's forgiveness. You have to understand, put yourself in them shoes. And that village that works with you and they believe in the brand or if they believe in what you're doing, they're willing to work with you to see it through. And my family do that a lot. So I'm, I'm happy about that. And then my outside family is growing my brand, myself, yeah. my person, me as a person. So it's working for both sides. God got me. Yeah, yeah. He ain't playing. He ain't never played. Mm -hmm. House of Cherry. I've been working, I've been rapping. We know we're gonna get serious about that. We yeah. know, I think, like I said right now, you so delicate. I know that part of prime time is gonna go crazy, and I know yeah. that's gonna be there. I know that. Mm -hmm. Um, like, definitely, there's things that I, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing, and, and just us establishing anything that you do under that brand the house of cherry mm -hmm. you know what i mean under the terry cherry brand mm -hmm. under the music you know what i mean the stuff mm -hmm. that you always you that's what struck me from the very beginning just how different you was mm -hmm. that's what struck me about essie the different when something is different i'm drawn to it mm -hmm. like so what is it that that we can expect for you this six because you always you so self-motivated and self. that's one thing about all the people that we deal with mm -hmm. you so I, I know you're going to figure something out, and mm -hmm. I'd be excited to see it. But what what can we expect to see coming into the holidays and just going down into set, to this ending of the third and going into the fourth quarter? Um, new music, for sure. I've been putting my music more first because like that's who made what amazed me. But I got lost in a different type of world, especially when you coming for something that you only had one mindset of. Now it's like, oh, my gosh, it's like learning so much knowledge at once. You're a brand, so, right? You yeah. know you're figuring out, like, I'm a whole yeah, brand. like, dang, I can do this and I can do that. <laughs> but I feel like the, the more places that we have traveled to, the more places it opened my eyes to see difference. So we got a lot of different stuff. A house chair is a brand. It's not really strictly on what it is That's or right. how it is. It's a brand. And, and I'm just going to say, go ahead and look forward to that. And the music itself, it is different. It's another side of me. It's like a mature me. And... uh I got different type of songs that's gonna fit everybody in genres, and not only that, I mean, I'm I'm kicking, like I'm kicking 20, 20, 20 what, what, 2024, 2025. Yeah, you can respect me, all nails, glue. I got footage. I got, I got so much going on right now. I got a lot, and being a mama at the same time, mm. I got a lot. You just. They can don't sleep on me. I'm not already. I know you already one of them more, and so hmm. I ain't. You got nothing to prove to me. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Thank you so much, man. And like I said, man, you, man, you so trustworthy and loyal. And I just want to say thank you for, like I said, always being there for me and my wife. Yeah, y'all know I love y'all. <laughs> and I just want to say, man, we're going to bang it out. We're about to, you know, we'll be back in six months, right? We come yeah. back in what, February? February, March, yeah. one of them. February. February, yeah. yeah. So it's gonna go down Atlanta, again. Atlanta, we went to March, yeah, Atlanta. Yeah, 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 yeah. We went to Atlanta. We done been. We always doing something, but mm -hmm. like I say, you do. You've done more with us than anybody. So mm -hmm. I, I think that's so courageous, and I just know that we are gonna always rock with you, no matter what. Long boss talk, rocking. Y'all already know it. Check it, man. Hey, man. Make sure you got like, subscribe to the channel. Y'all heard what Terry Cherry said. It's going down. We coming in from Las Vegas, Nevada. Hey, man. Make sure y'all check out Boss Talk One Hundred and One. And she one of them dope Boss Talk 101 honeys. It's crazy. Taylor, what's going on, girl? Hola, Simone. What's up, y'all? She got, what you call yourself on Instagram? That's what everybody go by. Taylor Simone. You know, I am Taylor Simone, a manifestation, an affirmation of who I am and everything that I am to become. You know what I'm saying? What That's you it. been up to, man? I mean, I've been seeing you've been doing different things. I I seen you with Dirt on some episode. I know Dirt because I had him on the show when I early on when I first started. And we did that. Remember mm -hmm. we did that deal downtown, and yeah. we did the our boss talk was down there. Mm -hmm. Did you come? I don't think I came. I seen it. Oh, I was mad. <laughs> you didn't go. I, I can't be everywhere. Tasia was there. Tasia Alexis mm -hmm. was there. Who else was there? It was a bunch so of people. I remember. I remember. It's just I. Can, I be trying to be everywhere. You know. I need. I need a clone. You sure you wasn't there? No, I think I she. Was, I you think was she there. Came. I think I, I dropped. Because it was like, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. You came. She in. came because it was an old man sitting in the front and got down on her. Mm -hmm. It was an old old man. He was old. Oh, he was about 80, and he was just sitting there being rude to everybody. You right. 
<laughs> you right. But I dropped in and I dropped out. I wasn't there long. No. Okay. I like came in and came out. He was the owner too. I think he owned the building. Or he wanted to act like he owned it. And he was Some. just sitting there giving it to her. She mm-hmm. was like, who is this old man? This old white guy too. He was an old boy. And you said, yeah, and remember you told me your daddy had something around the corner. I used to do some sort of business around the corner. I had a business around the corner. Sure oh, did. 3D uh, right. cantina. 3D, yeah. I think 3D. So yeah, that's why okay, I, I remember. Yeah, I dropped in, dropped Look, my memory be bad. Let me just say this, you know, like you being an entrepreneur, you came out here to Vegas to support us, man, as you always do. Like what, I mean, how do you keep it going? Like the business and just being an entrepreneur, being a single mom, you know, just all the stuff that you have to deal with. Uh, how do I keep it going? I just pray and I'll be like, God, give me strength. And then I, I keep it moving. Like there's a bigger path for me at the end. And I know as long as I keep working and I put my best fit, foot forward and I keep pouring into that, then I'm going to get where I'm trying to go. Plus, I'm really big on showing up for people who showed up for me. Wow. So I try to be everywhere that I can for the people that I know who've always supported me within all of my journeys of life, down to my business, down to finding out my business partner, down to my relationship, down to being a parent, like down to being able to call and ask for advice. Like I try to support those people who have poured into me because I pour into everybody. No, but that's hard because every time I see you on social media, she have a new friend somewhere. There's so many people that this young lady deal with, there's impossible for you to be there for that many people all the time. <laughs> um, it is. It's super impossible, but I try to get my schedule in order and just be like, okay, I can't like literally. Um, I had to support Jayline's Monday event. Shout out to Jayline. Um, I was like, look, I gotta catch a flight in the morning at six o'clock, so I'm gonna pop in and say hi. But I gotta leave. I was like, cause right when I leave your event, I gotta go get my makeup done, sleep like this, <laughs> and I gotta go get on a plane. <laughs> And so he was like, okay, tell her, just come, just just show your face. I came, popped in, showed my face, got my makeup done, made it home about 12.30, packed my bags, went to sleep for like two hours, woke up late, and was on a plane. Wow, so. wow. <laughs> man, but you know, I'm gonna be real with you. Like, you always you always come through for us, man. I wanna tell you, thank you, first of all. Thank you. But what did you like most about this uh, Boss Talk 101 Honey's uh, a photo shoot today because you really, you was in the pool you was doing all types of stuff. you was you was posing I think they made you get out that chair I'm not for sure but it was somebody in a chair <laughs> like what was going on in your head when the shoot was going on name another podcast like this who gonna bring it to the table boss talk who your girlfriend favorite boss talk I was just like oh my god my son is gonna cuss me out that was the first <laughs> thing that crossed my mind because y'all know he think he my man and he right. my bodyguard so um but it was different, like, you know, I don't call myself a model. People try to create titles in, indus- in, in, in industries for me. So I have been doing more modeling lately, so that kind of allows me to come out of my comfort zone, kind of allows me to, to step out of the business and more into the branding, because lately I've been doing more branding than anything. So it allowed me to kind of just really be like, oh, okay. Was that water cold? Hell yeah, that water cold. <laughs> and I'm anemic. But like, it's good that it was cold because it's hot outside. And my feet right now. <laughs> but it was hot outside, right? Yes, it was hot. It was windy. Uh, this Las Vegas heat. It's crazy. Yeah, no, it's stupid. Like, what y'all got going on? What's going on with the climate control? Like, yesterday, I just wanted to sleep all day because I'm like, I'm hot. Like, I seen that. I was getting mad. I'm my like, what are you doing? My battery went down because I'm just like looking at... Y'all ever seen what's that movie? Holes I with Shia LaBeouf. It. I didn't watch that. You ain't never seen Holes mm-hmm. with Shia LaBeouf. We watched the same movies most of the time. Were they in the desert? The TV. And they, yeah, no. I just felt I felt like I was in the desert this entire time because it's heat, but it's dry heat. It's dry heat. And I'm like, I need water. Like mm-hmm. I need electrolytes. I need Gatorade. I need something because I was over it. Man, so you you was on the balcony. You was doing all these different things. I mean, uh, y'all was posing. Y'all was together sometime. And y'all came on this set, and so I just enjoyed this whole, this made my whole trip better. Thank you so much. I mean, how was Vegas? This your first time in Vegas? This is my first time in how, Vegas. What do you think about it when you it's look out so there? It's so pretty. <laughs> and you were trying to get me to be outside. I, I was trying to, to be see, inside. I wanted to show you. <laughs> I was like, trying to be inside. I was really trying to sleep. What did you think about the strip? I fell asleep on the, on the, on the ride. Yeah, on I, no, I noticed, and I should have, I should have <laughs> wake up. 
Like I was the lights. I didn't get to tell, show you how it was. Look, it was it was cool though. And the like, water show at Bellagio. The water show was cool. Like it's really really pretty. I'm gonna have to come back like in the mind instead of less party. Tour uh, and tour. Just yeah, look at that. because it's, it looks like a pop up book to me. Like, have you ever just <laughs> open it up? Yeah, yeah it yeah. looks like a pop up book. So it's like, damn, y'all got all these lights. I know these electric bills high. <laughs> That's what hell. I said. They are like, not letting I us know. win on these casinos. That's why I keep losing because right. they gotta pay the light bill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like. I'm, Hey, I'm really trying to like hit something on the casino. Like, <laughs> I just, I just don't want to spend my money. So if anybody got some money out there that they want to give me <laughs> to use at the casinos, we can take a trip. Just know we get two separate rooms, and you are gonna give me your card, and I'm gonna win us some money, <laughs> and I'm gonna give you ten percent, but I'm gonna keep the other ninety. Man. <laughs> <laughs> So, I mean, what can we expect, I mean, with, with the business venture this year, the ending of the year coming up, going into next yeah, year? Yeah, because you have changes coming up. Do you want to announce some of yeah, these changes? Yeah, I mean, I can, I can go ahead and announce them because um, I, I actually had to set up a press run, so y'all will be able to be the first ones to wow. actually drop it. But life has been great. Like, just to give God his praises, like, when you take the time out to really sit down and think about the things that you're trying to achieve in life, the journey that you're trying to take and the things that you need to change in order to reach that spot. And when you put those things in God's hands, it kind of, it, it, it shows, it, it shows you like what faith can do. So, um, I have some transitions in my business now. We, um, I actually have two new business partners. After wow. I vowed to never have another business wow. partner right. ever a day in my life, yeah. I actually have yeah. two new business partners who can contribute to the business in a way that I've done the last two and a half years of my life. Like when you run a business, especially at the caliber that I run a business, you learn and you understand like delegation is key. And I can't do everything. And so what is it about these business partners that you trust so much where you're like, okay, let me go ahead and do this with them? The things that I knew I was struggling doing because they weren't my... Your forte. They wasn't my forte. Those are the things that they're good at. They already okay. have businesses. They already have connections. We're already in the same circles. We already have the same mindsets. I'm, I'm actually the baby of the bunch. I'm always the baby of every bunch. I'm the baby of the bunch, so I'm able to learn and grow with them. And we all came together with the same intent, and it just so happened we put the missing pieces, you know, in order and didn't realize that we were putting pieces together. So we are actually about to launch um, Bay Med Spa, mm -hmm. which Bay is an acronym for beauty and aesthetics. So, you know, we're getting a number together. It's going to be like 800 Call Bay or something like that. But, like, if you need self-love, be your own bay. Well, so will this be at the same location? So right now it's going to be at the same location. But um, ultimately it's going to be a mobile, a travel company. So we, um, we will be able to go to people for, um, like, the semi-glutide weight loss shots, the weight loss program. We'll still be doing post-op, body contouring. Um, you'll be able to come in and get Botox, um, tattoo removal, lip fillers, those type of things. It'll be an entire medical spa. And since you're going to be mobile, will it be more expensive since you're going, or would it be more, I mean, less expensive um, or the same? It'll kind of be like a median price range. Um, so when you do venture into the med spa realm, those services are a lot more expensive than if you're doing like facials and massages for more of a, not a cosmetic, but more of like a self-care routine. Mm -hmm. But we will have the opportunity to kind of like move around, not just locally, but statewide, uh, citywide. Just, you know, we can go to Atlanta. We'll actually be in Atlanta next weekend. But we can go to Atlanta. We can go to L.A. We'll be, in pop -ups. We'll be able to move around and do a little bit more. Okay. So. Well, thank you so much, man. Like I said, you, you, my, you, my, you everything, man. So gang, gang. We appreciate you, man. And we always support you no matter what. No matter what. I appreciate and we it. Just, and, and we're going to do some big things together. I know God going to figure it out. Mm -hmm. So just want to say thank you for coming up here to Vegas with us. I hope you enjoyed the show. The magic show. Yeah, what you show. thought about the, the apparel show? Look, like I ain't gonna even lie to you. I didn't. I, so I, you know, I came up here not knowing what to expect. Y'all just said, "Hey, can you be here?" I yeah, I'm gonna put it on my calendar now. I didn't know what to expect. That like none at all. So when I went to the show, I was just like, 
they could have told me a little bit more about this thing. This is big, right? I, I should have brought my suitcase. I done brought this carry-on bag when I need my suitcase. Wow. So it was actually, like, really, really cool. Um, it happens every six months, so you can catch it the next and time around. And we've been around. coming up here since 09, 08. It's like really cool, months. like, to see some of the companies, some of the vendors. Business owners and the stuff. The business yeah. owners be able to ask questions. And then, you know, since I am trying to, I am venturing into a lot of branding and, you know, doing more hosting and stuff like that. Um, it was kind of cool to be able to go and talk to some of these people and be like, look, I already wear your stuff. And this is what I posted of your stuff. They got thousands that's hard, of likes. That's hard. Go on and put me in the game, That's coach. right. That's right. So that's what I did with PSD because right. it was You got to get back over there and talk to yeah, them. That's today. what I'm saying. Steph was like, why don't you go talk to them? You already got, I literally have thousands of vi like videos with hundreds and thousands of views and likes and followers and some of these brands. And I'm like, you need me. <laughs> we need each other. What, what are we doing? That's like, so let's dope. get together. So I just I didn't expect it. So it was uh, actually pretty cool. So I'm a I'm gonna try to make my way back down here and keep up with it to to go. You a can bit always more. come with it. We'll be here. Yeah, no, nah, because there's even a few like brands that I wanted to try. Just That's skincare all right. wise. Yeah. And, so yeah, it was pretty. It's cool. Like I like it. Wow, man. Hey, we out here in me. We doing numbers. Viva Las Vegas or whatever they say. Man, I, I, out here, man, and uh, we ran into a jewel. This young lady uh, took me by storm. Shout out to my boy Bone for pretty much putting me in link with whoever he linked me with. This guy been blessing me ever since I started this show. Ever since I met him, hometown favorite Bone. Thank you so much, man. And I just want to say, man. Thank you for Essie. Man. Essie is my dope <laughs> partner now. She is my player partner. She helping me with stuff now. So it's going down. We is official like a referee with a whistle. You know what I'm saying? So let's get to it, man. Like Essie. Yeah. What's up, dog? Yeah. <laughs> so what? I mean, you you do model. You do you do a lot of things. You're beautiful when it comes down to your spirit, man. And uh, you I, sing? Yes, I do. Yo, like a songbird. Your yeah. parents got to be dope. I don't even have to meet them in order for me to know how love, your spirit is. Love them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They got to be dope. I'm telling you, from yeah. the time we met on the phone to the to I got to Vegas, you never flinched at nothing that I said. And ever since, it was like I knew you forever. I was raised like that. And that's crazy because <laughs> I'm that same way. You know what I'm saying? That yeah. is crazy. But anyway, man, like... What, how did you first start getting into just doing modeling? Because you mm -hmm. wanted a Boss Talk 101 Honeys for show. Yeah, so happy to be a Boss Talk Honey. Um, I got into modeling through just pursuing my uh, music career. So through that, I was like, okay, I was already open to doing plenty of other things mm -hmm. other than music, uh, just with the people who are also open to creating that, you know, you know, videos, walks, whatever. And... Um, that's how I got it. I met models through networking, and mm -hmm. they asked me, you're a pretty girl, we want to have you. And it's not always that easy, of course, but, you know, I went and ventured off into that. And wow. did you have to practice all the poses and the walk and all of that? Oh, yeah. Mir's my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> my best friend. So I got to practice. You can't, I got to come, I, I care, you know, like it's important. You know, my face, my uh, my story will be involved in those things. I'll be asking about, I love the history of things. You know, they're going to ask, oh, well, you, you was doing this and this back in the day. You're going to have to speak on that. So, yeah. You were doing this and this like what back in the day? Like you were you were at this event. You were, you, were, oh, okay. you were at these okay, events. Okay, the way how you, you said like place. you were doing you know, this and this. I'm like, what this you know, is? When, you know the stands for the artists, Doja Cat okay. stands, Beyonce stands. You know, back in the day, she was here already pursuing this. You know, yeah, like, they're going to talk. I want to talk to you a little bit about the shoot that we had outside today. Uh, I mean, just you at this pool, you seemed like it was something that you just you know gravitated to what was a highlight moment for you when you were out there doing your thing Moses, he gonna be the coldest if you got a secret he the one that's gonna expose it if you want to laugh he the one to keep you rolling he gonna keep you rolling like a motherfucker bowling the water. <laughs> you like the water? Yeah. Get on the interview. Yeah. With XO music on the interlude. Who? XO music on the interlude? Huh. <laughs> no, I love the water. And it was hot outside. So, yeah. so, uh, so I love the water. But I, I just like being around good energy. The, the, the Boss Talk honeys are, their souls are beautiful. You know, like they, the girls with the girls, it's not catty. It's not everyone's very respectful and just pushing for each other and you know we 
we really haven't we've been working more than getting to know each other and like that's okay because there's that respect i love that because i don't really see that a lot in this city wow i just like i said just talking to you on the phone i already knew we was gonna do good together I was going to work with you and then nothing was going to stop that from happening. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I just, I, I just want to say thank you. Like, and, and just the pictures in the, like the cabana, little, the little off to the side pictures that you guys were taking. Yeah. How did you Let's like talk, doing that? Talk, what was I love that. About? I love that. You guys are, uh, you guys are uh, making a space to where each individual can shine. Wow. And that is so important. And I know the girls feel good about it. I feel super good about it. Um, being involved with everything that you guys are doing makes wow. me really happy. What about uh, just uh, on the balcony, when you were on the balcony and you was basically uh, doing your little walk? I seen the walk. I seen the walk. <laughs> I seen the walk. Like It's a little tent, you know? <laughs> it's a little tent on the window, so. Like, no, like, what was it like? Like, how do you get in that mode to do the, the, the things to make sure you get the right picture? Mm, so I, I, I would say that maybe some of the other Boss Talk honeys who are uh, solely, uh, who are solely doing modeling, you know, because I'm also an artist, they might have learned their confidence through repetition of practicing that, those practices and those rituals to being a model. I take my confidence from being an artist and meeting people who might either have inspired me or when I just, you know, didn't have the knowledge and they did and going in those um, those places that make me nervous and uncomfortable. That's where I got that confidence and then I take that with me in my modeling and that helped me, you know. Wow, I so. wanna hear a little bit of singing, man. Give us a little bit of uh, something that you uh, strummed up for us here on Boss Talk 101. Okay, we're gonna do a acapella. Let's go. Okay. Look at me. I'm as helpless as a kitten up a tree And I feel like I'm clinging to a cloud I can't understand I get misty just holding your hand Walk my way And a thousand violets begin to play oh it might be the sound of your hello that music i hear i get misty the moment you're near you can say that you're leading me on but it's just what i want you to do don't you notice how hopelessly I'm lost? That's why I'm following you on my own. Would I wander through this wonderland alone, never knowing my right foot from my left? my hat from my glove i'm too misty and too much in love i'm just too misty and too much in <laughs> you so little to have such a big voice, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you know, we don't expect that to come out of, of such a little frame. You know what I'm saying? I know I'm a little tiny, man. <laughs> no, like, like so. It's like, I mean, I think of Broadway. I think of you know, play. I think of plays and all kind of stuff. You ever thought about getting into certain plays? Or? I have. I have thought about getting into certain plays. Uh, Sarah Brellis is an artist that really inspired me with her. Um, and I don't know what it's called, but uh, She Used to Be Mine is a song that's involved in that, uh, wow. in one of those pieces. It's a beautiful song, very, very uh, hard song to sing, and that just inspired me. And obviously, the original Broadway songs, yeah. all the musicals yeah. growing up, my older sister made me watch 
West Side Story. I won't say she made me. I was into it. I was into it. But I was watching West Side Story every day. I I know all the songs, the dance moves, the the script. Like I'm real big into music. I love music. I hold it very close to my heart. It keeps me going. Wow, man, you, you you're talented. I love it. Like I said, it it puts you in a place where you feel peace. Mm-hmm. And that's that's important. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I just want to say thank you so much for coming on the show. Of I just want to tell you, man, we're going to be doing a lot of work together. So it's not really we're going to be leaving. We'll be flying out tomorrow. But we're going to go, we're going to go and then we'll, me and you will link back up and we're going to figure out how to put this thing together, okay? It's coming together. Thank you so yeah. much, man. Boss Talk 101, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. Well, the bosses talk. Oh, yeah. Man.